Jake and Jason, one of you will earn the last spot in the finale, and one of you will pack your machines. Legibility on Jake's tattoo, 100%. But the creativity and the drawing that Jason pulls off, I mean, I love that. My vote is for Jason. For the third spot, I'm going to go with Jake. My choice is for Jason. The judges have decided, Jake, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I love doing competition stuff. I like going to conventions, competing, and I feel like I still did good no matter what. There's 18 people here, and I was one of the fourth left, and I'm cool with that. Jake, you had to tattoo Danny's black and gray mystical witch. I think Danny just has smoother application, and Jake needed richer black in the cloak to differentiate from the face. The judges said the black wasn't black, and I feel like it was pretty black. I don't know how much more black I could have made it without destroying that tattoo. Sometimes you gotta let it breathe. Black and gray, when it heals, it lightens up. So for me to destroy tattoo by blasting black through the whole thing just didn't seem like a right, the right move. When it comes to Jake's tattoo, I gave him the reference he used for the head. But my shit's drawn straight from scratch. Well, if I'm replicating a witch, it has to look like something. His looks like a weird dummy bear. For him, he's only done the same style the whole time. I feel like I've really changed the way I tattoo. I mean, I've literally changed everything about me. I started out like as the underdog. Like people assumed I was gonna go home because I did realism. The fact that I was able to just switch it around, I feel like that, that was good enough for me and I proved a lot. Early in this competition, you had one foot out the door and you dug deep in yourself, went back to your roots and you turned it around, man. I'm really happy that you broke out of your shell and I feel like your tattooing is gonna take off. Thank you. I know they say no report cards, but like Laura deserved to get there. Danny did great across the board and I feel like Jason's a great illustrator and he had his ups and downs, but he proved that he could do all the styles, you know. Obviously, I'm gonna give some shit, but I feel like they deserved it, and I was just happy to be there. You know, to be honest with you guys, now this is all over. I feel like he honestly deserved it. He does show good creativity, and I can't take that away from him. Jason is a great illustrator. He can draw fast, he can pull shit out of his head. So if I had the same abilities as Jason, but my technical, I would have crushed it. This was one of the best experiences of my life, and I feel like I learned a lot, and I don't regret coming forth. I feel like I'm so excited just to be here. I guess the only thing I could be really upset about in the situation is not knowing what it's like to be on that stage, not knowing what I could have done, just the, the unknown. I think that's the most disappointing part. Jake, thank you. Please pack your machines and close shop. I feel amazing. I'm like, so excited just to make it this far. You know, I had my ups and downs through this competition, but I feel like I turned around and I proved something to myself and everybody here. You know, I might not have made a top three, but I feel like I still accomplished a lot.